What is Fury 325? Fury 325 is a steel giga coaster located at Carowinds in North Carolina, USA. The ride currently holds records of being the tallest and fastest giga coaster that's any coaster between 300 and 399 feet high in the world. It was also the park's largest single investment, resulting in not only the coaster, but a redesign of Carowinds' main entrance. Fury 325 was constructed by B&M and officially opened to the public on the 28th of March 2015. It was only the second giga coaster to be built by the Swiss company, the first being Leviathan at Canada's Wonderland. As the name suggests, Fury 325 measures 325 feet high, making it the tallest coaster ever produced by B&M. As of today, the ride stands as the sixth fastest, fifth tallest, and fourth longest roller coaster in the world. Riders of Fury 325 begin their experience by climbing the extremely tall chain lift hill. Unlike other manufacturers, B&M continues to use chain lift hills instead of cable lift hills on rides in excess of 90 meters. Intamin, on the other hand, use cable lift hills to drag the trains to the top of the hill at a faster speed. Once riders of Fury reach the top, they crest over the hill and begin to descend the 97.5 meter drop at the angle of 81 degrees. This height allows for the incredible speed of 153 kilometers per hour to be reached before riders enter a 58 meter barrel turn and continue on with their experience. Like many other Hyper and Giga coasters, Fury 325 features many twists, turns and airtime hills, creating a floaty but thrilling sensation throughout the journey. As mentioned earlier, Fury 325 is a Giga coaster, but is classified under the Hyper Coaster model title according to its manufacturer. This is because there is virtually no difference between B&M's Hyper and Giga coasters beside the increased height. This classification can be seen by visiting the Bollinger and Mabillard website. Similar to other rides and parks in the Cedar Fair chain, the addition of Fury 325 resulted in the renovation of the main entrance of the park. The ride itself interacts with the walkway leading to the entrance, as riders fly above and then dive below the pedestrian bridge. This allows for visitors to see and interact with Carowind's staple attraction before even entering the park. Fury was constructed at the cost of roughly 30 million US dollars and consists of 2,012 meters of track. This leads to the attraction being the longest steel coaster in the United States and having a ride time of approximately 62 seconds from the first drop to the final break run. Due to the long track lengths, three trains navigate the circuit at any one time. Each train is made up of eight cars with riders seated in single rows of four. As a result, each train seats a maximum of 32 riders. Due to the quick and frequent dispatch of the train, Fury 325 has a good throughput of roughly 1,470 riders per hour. The name and theme of the ride originates from the area in which it is located. During the American Revolution, the Carolinas were known as a hornet's nest of rebellion, helping to cause the British army to retreat from battle. Fury 325 is said to exhibit the same courageous, rebellious and zealous spirits found in the region hundreds of years ago, hence the hornet-related theming. On opening day, the ride gained positive reviews from both the general public and roller coaster enthusiasts. It won the title of the best new ride of 2015 from the Golden Ticket Awards and ranked first in their top steel roller coaster poll of 2016. Overall, the addition of Fury 325 was a huge success for the park, helping to put Carowinds on the international theme park map. Is Fury a world class coaster? What's your opinion?